Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a SQL Server user with the smallest set of privileges that you can use to migrate your databases from SQL Server into MySQL using the MySQL Workbench Migration Wizard. In this video we are going to use the SQL Server Management Studio for this task. We'll start by creating a new login under the security folder of the server. So we right-click on it and select New Login in the context menu. Ok, in the window that appears, we have first to type the username. Say we're going to name it under Privileged. That's what we have to type there. There we go. And then we select SQL Server Authentication. And we assign a password to it. Okay, and since we already set the password, we disable this checkbox that indicates that the user must change the password at next login, and we also uncheck this enforced password expiration, of course, you can change that if you want. Under the default database, then we select the database we intend to migrate, in this case AdventureWorks, for example. Then we move to the server roles page, we have to make sure that only the public role is selected. Then we can continue to the user mapping page. And then we have to map this login into a database user. We can change the name here, but we're going to left the default, which is the same name as the login. Again, we make sure that only the public role is assigned to this user in the database. Then we move to the Securables page and we add an entry for the server itself. Click OK then. And now we scroll down through the list so that we can make sure that the view any definition permission is granted to this model. This permission will allow the MySQL migration wizard to query our SQL Server and determine which databases are defined there. We then move to the status page. We are going to leave pretty much everything there as it is. Then click OK. And now we have this new login created. Now we have to assign the respective permissions for the database user that is associated to this login. So we go to the AdventureWorks database, right-click on it, and select Properties in the context menu that appears. We go to the Permissions tab, we check that the user is there, and then we scroll down the permission list. We see that the Connect privilege has already been assigned to it, and that's the only one by default. So we have to keep scrolling down and make sure that we click on the select privilege so that the user can perform select queries in that database. We click OK and then that'll be all. Now the user that we have created will be able to connect to, to this server and perform all the queries required to migrate the AdventureWorks database into MySQL. Thank you.